Alrighty, not the best news, not for uh, this time of year anyway. Uh, looks like I have an auntie who's probably uh, going to be fucked by the time you even see this video. Um, it's the one who's uh, a little bit simple on us. Too much smoking. Uh, Lead to emphysema. And uh, I don't know if she's got pneumonia as well. Uh, turns out <laughs> also dehydration. This is the third summer in a row that she's had dehydration. And uh, started feeling a lot of aches and stuff in her arms and in her chest. And they believe she's had a heart attack. Gone to hospital. And lo and behold, in intensive care. Had another freaking heart attack like about a day and a half later and now she's in a coma and by the time you see this she's probably dead. Um, yeah. One particular cousin who gets very emotional and, and has a few issues herself relating to emotions. Uh, one of the ones who's not married, she... Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's just about going fucking berserk over it all. Um, you know, I've seen a number of people who, my uncle included, the one who used to live in this house, who their health was never really great. And they end up leaving earlier than everybody else in their, you know, 60s or 70s. You know, my uncle was 62. He had another British mate who drank far too much who he was 64 he had another mate who had diabetes his whole life he was 72 uh like all his mates died within like two years of him another one saw his house burning down for electrical fire and and that caused a heart attack went in to have um multiple bypass surgery i think it was a oh i don't know triple bypass or some bullshit. couldn't handle being in uh hospital when running out of the hospital and uh, went back to to shear some fucking sheep and he was fucked and, and all the surgery they'd done it all opened up and bled and it was it, he was fucked uh, he just died a um, couple of hours after releasing himself something like about three and a half hours later uh, because he decided that he had to get home and shear some fucking sheep like, a, like an idiot um, you know, it's it's not unknown that, uh, yeah, some people uh, have some issues. There's even someone my sister was talking about in her town who, 62, alcoholic, um, <laughs> dealing with propane bottles, gave themselves a cold burn, didn't even realise they were freezing their fingers. Their fingers were so fucked up they had to amputate the damn fingers. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of these people that abuse their health is, they won't live long, you know, and they just don't. And, but you've got to realise here that this auntie is the one older than me mum, the next one older than me mum. Uh, she'd be about 69 or getting close to it um, and yeah basically <laughs> mind of an eight-year-old now you try and explain to them that a cigarettes are bad and it's like oh well well I felt all right and I had a cigarette and, and you know I really want to have another cigarette later on and, and I thought what's the problem I didn't light it up and I my head didn't explode you can't really explain to someone who's as simple as that the real ramifications of what smoking is going to do to them eventually and you know because they're a bit simple in the head they <laughs> don't think well it's a hot day maybe i should drink more water so they've got dehydrated third year in a row and you know you try and tell them about eating healthy and they just end up down at the fucking gas station buying fucking shit every time you know there's one point there where you know, British Heritage, we have meat pies and we have quite a lot of them here. And she fucking lived on meat pies for months. And another time she, you know, oh, the sink blocked up. 
What was she doing? Back down at the gas station, milkshakes, going through two or three of these big milkshakes a day. And they're going, oh, geez, a lot of sugar. And other people are going, oh, well, at least it's fucking better than all the other shit. But then she started, you know, they took it apart. My dad took the U-Bend apart and four straws. Oh, I just get all the straws and I stuff them down the sink. Every time I have a milkshake, I pull the straw out and stick it down the sink. So many fucking straws in the U-Bend, the damn sink blocked. Just real sort of simplistic. And, and while she had the help of another auntie, on occasion and a few of her friends from church and stuff like that. They sort of just, you know, and someone come around there, it's one of these freaking idiots. They always send around these fucking brainless drongos that are part of some government agency. You know, one woman I know of went around to some guy's place who's bipolar. Too much beer. The dumb bitch didn't realize, A, it wasn't even this guy's beer, it was fucking my beer. B, or my boss's beer or something. Never asked him. He never spoke up about it. C, the guy didn't have one fucking scarec of food in the house. All he had was a beer that was someone else's beer in the fridge and one tin of coffee, and there wasn't a fucking bit of food in the house. And this stupid tart of a bitch just wrote in, oh, he drinks too much. Or he has too much. Well, actually wrote, he has too much beer. Not that he drinks too much. And you just think, what? Did you not realise there's no food in the fucking house? You know, I think another one sort of come around and, and dealt with this auntie and and failed to see the same thing. No food in the fucking house. Can't organise himself. Can't do much without a great deal of help because they're just simple. They're just, you know, mind of an eight-year-old. Can't really look after them. They can find something to eat, but it's just gas station fucking rubbish, really. And... You know, it was just no concept of healthiness. It's just they're, they're too simple to fucking comprehend all this stuff. They're too simple to have any balanced diet or anything like that. It'll just be eat the same thing because I like this thing and eat fucking hundreds of the damn things. And no greens, no nothing like that. Speaking of which, I should be eating more greens and I've bought some more salad recently, but... But yeah, all the same, uh, I think it's uh, it's basically the fucking end, and uh, oh, for fuck's sake, you know, man, a few years ago we buried about four or five people, well, about four, I think, died, and then we had, uh, over the space of two years, um, there's another old relative died a little while back, about nine months back, and uh, now it looks like this auntie's... On the way out, and I tell you what, you, you get used to going to funerals. They always say, my parents used to say, oh, your grandparents are used to going to funerals because all their friends are dying. And now it's like, well, all the actual old relatives that are my grandparents, they, they're all gone as of nine months ago. Every single one of that generation died off. Uh, and <laughs> I wouldn't be fucked if, you know, my uncle who was in this house didn't go and now I've got an auntie on the other side of the family. Looks like it's game, mate. Oh, jeez, you know, can we hold it off for another 10 years before the rest of them cark it, honestly? <sighs> anyway, what can you fucking do? There's nothing you can do about it. There is nothing you can do about it. Death and taxes get a lot of us. And, uh, well, we're usually trying to stave off both.